We came in here uh, with 12 other people wanting to do what I just did. If you're into street racing, you must have heard of Sean Ellington. He's an awesome street racer and a total reality TV show sensation. This dude became a big deal after showing off his skills on the Discovery Channel's Street Outlaws. And get this, he's even got a sick nickname, Murder Nova, the name of his fantastic ride. While he's not burning up rubber on the streets, he works a regular blue collar gig in his shop. Talk about a true hustler. Stay with us until the end to know what happened to Murder Nova from Street Outlaws. Sean Elliott was born in the sunny town of Merced, California on November 15th, 1977. In 1988, a sudden change came in the life of Sean when his parents suddenly decided to leave California and move to Oklahoma. The reason was his father's shop. Sean's dad, Richard, owned an auto body shop there. It was soon when Sean started helping out his father in the shop. He began with simple tasks like sweeping the place, but boy, did he soak up all the knowledge about cars and engines. It wasn't just about cars. It was the boost it gave him, the confidence and drive that shaped him into the amazing person he is today. In 2005, Sean was starving for success, which made him achieve great things in Oklahoma. And guess what? That turned out to be a significant turning point in his career. There, he got his hands on a car that would go down in history as the legendary Murder Nova. Sean has come a long way, from racing for an adrenaline rush on the streets to being the big shot on that reality show Street Outlaws. Yeah, some people give the show crap for promoting illegal street racing, but Sean isn't about that. He debuted on the show in 2013 and quickly became the king of the street. He held on to that title for three years until Daddy Dave came along and took over the street racing throne. Did you know that Sean and his racing buddy Justin Shearer, also known as Big Chief, own the super cool automotive shop called Midwest Street Cars? They're not just business partners, but also host this fantastic show called The Chief and Sean Show, where they talk about their experiences in both business and racing. But let me tell you, it hasn't always been easy for Sean. Let me rewind you to an incident that happened on September 28th, 2015, when someone fired bullets on the windows and doors of his shop. Luckily, there was no one present at the time of the accident, so no casualties. However, it was big for Sean and Justin as seven bullets flew through the glass. They even offered a $5,000 reward for information about the culprit, but unfortunately, they still haven't been caught. It's a real-life game of cat and mouse with higher stakes than ever. This wasn't the only time someone tried to mess with them. The National Hot Rod Association, also known as the NHRA, threw some threats his way. They sent him a letter warning him to quit participating in those illegal races or face serious legal trouble. Shearer didn't keep it to himself. He went ahead and shared that letter online. Let's just say his fans were absolutely nuts on NHRA. It turned into a huge deal showing the tight bond among racers. If you think his life was all tragedy and challenging, just wait until you hear about his new murder nova that he built back in 2007. His fans were pretty hyped about it, but it ended up being a major letdown for Sean. He had high hopes for it, but it didn't perform as well as expected. But hey, even though life was tougher for murder nova, he never let it dictate his future. Thanks to his partnership with Justin Shearer and all those reality TV shows he's been doing, he's managed to keep his net worth intact. Rumour has it that it's sitting at around a cool million dollars as of 2023. Every successful man has an incredible woman by his side, and Sean Ellington is definitely no different. He's truly fortunate to have a stunning family, which includes his loving wife and absolutely adorable children. Sean and his wife Erin have been together for what feels like forever, even before they officially became husband and wife. Their wedding day was an enchanting winter celebration back in 2005, and just a few months after that, on February 8th, 2006, their hearts were overflowing with joy as they welcomed their precious son, Aiden, into this beautiful world. That's all for today's video, guys. To keep on getting amazing updates like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications.